seeing as it does affect people of all ages, including younger, how does it affect someone's sex life? It's, it's very embarrassing. So when people uh, have intercourse and urine leaks out, they begin to think that they can't have it. It's very embarrassing, even if it's with the partners that they've been there, there all their lives. And at, at that point, they begin to not want to engage in intercourse. And, and, and that's a shame. One of the things that happens, especially after menopause, is that the lining of the vagina becomes a little thinner and that could also cause pain. So there's a combination of factors that all get together and at that point make intercourse a little bit less likely. And there's no reason that that's, that should be that way. Real quickly, because we're gonna talk about it as we go on, but how often do you see uterine fibroids as the cause of a weakened pelvis? It's, as when you see a very large uterus, it can put pressure in the bladder so as to make incontinence happen. It is like when somebody's pregnant that if they have, once the baby is big enough, they can put a little pressure and some patients for the first time in their lives experience some incontinence when they're pregnant. Then it goes away as soon as the baby is delivered. But large enough fibers can cause that same effect for what we call bulk effect. It's just the pressure on the bladder.